Joyce Troop here, Bike Man Performance. Today we're doing a technical video on our turbo pipes for aftermarket two stroke uh, turbo kits. So, right now we uh, currently make one for the Polaris Axis and the uh, Skidoo 850. So, let's, uh, let's go into how they work and, and why they're a good idea. So, first off, let's understand that a two stroke pipe has an efficiency map that comes up. So if this is uh, an RPM going this way, and this is horsepower. So it starts down low and then there's a, a point where it peaks out and then drops. Uh, this is our area where we want to be. Uh, that's the, the top of our horsepower. Now say your engine is supposed to run at 8,000 to 8,200. If you're running over that, you're, you're not in your horsepower. If you're under that, you're not in your horsepower. So the weird thing is when you apply boost to a two-stroke pipe, that higher pressure makes the sound wave move faster. And what that does is it makes this pipe retune for a higher RPM. Even though the peak is going to be higher, your optimum spot is at a higher RPM. So now, this pipe that was tuned for 8 to 8200 RPM under 6, pace, 6 PSI of boost will be 88 to 9000. Now, even while under boost, we don't run that high up. So that's, we're not taking any advantage of this pipe. And we're making our horsepower solely off pressure getting pushed through the motor, which turbos are very good at. But now the kicker is, we, to make this big horsepower the turbo is gonna make, you have to have weights for the horsepower it's gonna make. Until that boost comes up, you're overweighted. So now, the second you hit the gas, it might come up to 7,400 really quick, because that's where your weights are allowing it to go at zero PSI of boost, and then the boost will pull it up once the boost comes up. So what we said, well hey, we're good at pipe building. Let's make a pipe that under boost makes its peak power at our desired RPM. So we said, yeah, let's make our pipe that makes power here at six PSI of boost. And we're in the efficiency window of it while we're on boost. Now, the best thing about that is, is that when we take away the boost, now we're back here. Sorry, I didn't, it's not higher. So at zero PSI of boost, now we're down around that 74, 7600 RPM where it's mixed peak power. So the second you hit the gas, being overweighted for the horsepower you're gonna make, you're on power curve. So now as your boost comes up, neat thing is, your pipe will follow, follow the horsepower. So the second you hit the gas, you're on the pipe, and when you're at peak boost, you're on the pipe. Best of both worlds. That's our turbo pipe in a nutshell. Check out all our products and our future products to come to add on to your turbo kits at bikemanperformance.com.